This is a cream that has won over a host of celebrities and beauty professionals, including makeup artist Bobby Brown, who describes it as kinda magical. But at 125 pounds for 30 milliliters and 205 pounds or 265 US dollars for 50 milliliters, it's not hard to see why it's mainly celebrities talking about Augustinus Bader's The Rich Cream because they have the money to buy it. At those prices, it's right up there with some of the world's most expensive skincare brands. So does it really have a magical effect on your skin? Well, I've used this cream daily for over eight weeks now, and I'm about to deliver my verdict. So I bought this, the Rich Cream Moisturiser, from Harvey Nichols Online, and I'll link to UK and US buying options in the description box below. I'd seen an ad for it on Facebook, where else? Featuring uh, Bobby Brown talking about how much she loved the cream. And I thought it would just be so interesting to see if by spending that money, I could actually see the difference in my skin between this and a lower cost moisturiser. It was described on the Harvey Nichols website as an intensely luxurious super hydrator that stimulates the skin's natural process of rejuvenation to dramatically improve the complexion's appearance. Now, that rejuvenation reference is the most interesting part of the equation here because the man behind the brand, Augustinus Bader, he reportedly spent many years working as a stem cell researcher at the University of Leipzig in Germany. So he studied the skin's natural healing process primarily to try to improve outcomes for burn victims. And he was exploring the skin's capacity for renewal. So then he applied those learnings to the creation of his Trigger Factor Complex, or TFC8, and that's the patented formula behind his skincare range. The idea is that the Rich Cream adapts to individual skincare concerns such as fine lines, pigmentation, breakouts, redness, and even scarring. What it's rich in is omega-6 fatty acid and antioxidants. So it's got sunflower seed, avocado, and evening primrose oils in there, as well as shea butter and hyaluronic acid. And it's forming a protective barrier over the skin, which is then locking in moisture. So there is a, a lighter alternative for oilier skins, which is just called the cream. It's not lighter in price, unfortunately, but it has lower concentrations of plant oils and fatty acids in it. I went for the rich cream because it was the one I saw advertised and it is the most hyped. So in hindsight, with my combination skin, I might have been better off with just the cream. But I used the rich cream daily it's recommended you use it twice daily, but though I started out doing that for a couple of weeks, my face was literally an oil slick during the day if I used it in the morning as well. So I switched to just using it at night, and let's face it, that means it's gonna last twice as long. So in the day, I used my trusty low-cost CeraVe moisturizer, which I talked about in a recent video on my daily skincare routine, and I'll link to that here if you wanna take a look at it. Just using the rich cream every night was enough for me to see benefits, which I'll come on to. The cream itself is presented in this uh, beautiful pump dispensing bottle, but um, open it up and there's just a tiny little bag of cream in there to remind you that you've spent 125 pounds on not a lot of ingredients. That said, generally, I only needed two pumps of this cream to fully cover my face and neck. So although the cream is thick, it, it does have that kind of rich consistency, but the oil in it means it spreads evenly and easily across your skin. So it's two months that I've had out of this bottle so far, and I reckon I'll make it to at least three, possibly more than that at this rate. So that would mean if I kept going, um, I, I'd be spending roughly 400 or 500 pounds a year on a nighttime moisturizer. For those using it morning and night, that's going to be closer to a thousand pounds, particularly if you use it more generously than I did, which a lot of people with dry skin will want to do. 
So I'm really bad at maths, otherwise I would try to calculate how long the 50 milliliter bottle at 205 pounds would be likely to last and cost over the course of the year. It's obviously gonna be a bit less than buying the 30 milliliter bottles, but using it twice daily, it's gonna be around the thousand pound mark. Now that does depend on how much of it you use, so it's really difficult to pinpoint exactly how much this might cost over the year, but it's in that ballpark. So it actually works out more expensive, for instance, than Creme de la Mer, which is seen as one of the world's priciest moisturizers, but it's 1,700 pounds for 500 milliliters. So if 50 milliliters of the rich cream is 205 pounds, I can just about scrape the math together to know that 500 milliliters is going to be over two grand. So that is a big investment. The upshot for me is this. Using it once daily on my combination skin meant my skin was still oilier than usual in the day, even though I wasn't using it in the morning. It meant it was harder to keep my brow pencil coloring in place, very concerning, but it did give me a youthful glow, which I must admit I've been quite happy about. The oil means I've had a few bumps on my forehead, the kind of bumps you get with excessive oil, you know, nothing out of control, but my skin isn't clear and it, it was possibly clearer before I started using this cream. It's not had a radical effect on my pores either. It's not really reduced them or changed them. I have got quite sensitive skin and this is fragrance free. I've not had any sensitivities or uh, breakouts as a result of using it, but I do still get the occasional spot. The small amount of redness that I get on my cheeks hasn't really lessened either. And that's not just my blusher. Um, and over the weeks, I have noticed though that my skin is indeed intensely hydrated. It has taken on a plumper appearance. I have no doubt about that. And it's pretty much like across the board so that the thinning skin around my eyes, for instance, appears fuller and less lined. And that's a hard thing to give up. So I'm pretty sure there will be a less expensive alternative out there if I look hard enough. But it has certainly taught me that high quality oil-based moisturizers are the way to go at night, especially for older skin like mine. There's a couple of other things to note about the rich cream. The bottle is supposedly recyclable if you take out the bag. And that little bag in there itself is designed to ensure you get pretty much every last drop out of the bottle, which is hugely important on a product that is priced as high as this one. The cream is free from animal derived ingredients and parabens. So will I buy it again? Well, the short answer is at this point in time, based largely on the price, no. But I will feel sad when this runs out because it has nurtured my skin. Where it's priced though, I would have to feel it was utterly transformative to commit to it. And I would just be using it very sparingly as I am at the moment. But it's a very good, deeply hydrating and even plumping moisturizer. So I hope you found this review helpful. If you've tried the Rich Cream or if you've found another brilliant moisturizer that plumps and deeply hydrates like this one, then let me know in the comments because I do love hearing your thoughts and suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, then I'd be very grateful if you could give it a thumbs up to show others that you liked it. And if you haven't already, then I hope you'll consider subscribing to The Honest Channel because there are lots more skincare, beauty and household product reviews already on the channel and coming up as well. So for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.